This is the second in a trilogy of videos about really big numbers and the notorious 666. It should make sense on its own, but you can see links to all of them down in the description. Oh God, it's amazing that you can test my Bible knowledge, aren't you? The Goliath is strong. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, his tribe. I can't remember his tribe. He fought David, didn't he? He's the giant who fought. David and Goliath, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So David did the sling, the sling at him, yeah. yeah. I think you must, have, oh, you must have rocked up to church more than I've, me. Right? I've been to the place where that battle happened. The Philistines stood on the mountain on the one side, and Israel stood on the mountain on the other side with a valley between them. So here is a rock from the Elah Valley, right here in my hand. All yeah. oh, right, there you go. Yeah, that's the, yeah, okay, yeah, Goliath. That's, of course, that's who Goliath is. Yeah. yeah. So why are we being mean about it? I mean, he doesn't seem as bad as the... Anyway, we... we... <laughs> anyway, Goliath numbers. What's a Goliath number? Yeah. Okay, so now, we're still looking at two to the end. But now, we're not looking for 666, we're looking for 666 666s. So we're looking for huh? 666, yeah. and then another 666, and so on. Oh, okay. So we're looking for that combination which has 666 666s in a row. Oh, okay. So the number of digits it must have is three times 666. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But there's nothing up. So there's 666 666s. 1998. Yes, yeah, so it's 1998 uh, sixes in a row. But it's 666 666s, right? Okay. That's what it is. Okay. So these numbers, which contain this, are called Goliath numbers. Right. They have a symbol. Okay. Yeah. So the smallest Goliath number has a symbol like that. Okay, do we know any Goliath numbers? And it has to be a, a two to the N. It, can't, it has to yeah. be a two to the N. It has to contain this monster here, right? So what's the first Goliath number? We don't know. There's not been one found. We have found a Goliath number. This is a Goliath number. Let me show you. This is the smallest known Goliath. This. So this is two to the, you can see it's two to the K, where K is this absolute monster. So that's the power. That's the power. Not the number. That's not the number. The number itself is just going to be massive. Right. So this is the smallest known Goliath. It's probably not the smallest, seems to be the, the thinking. Right. But we don't know the smallest. If that's not the smallest, and they were searching for the smallest, what made them choose that N and not a smaller N? So there's some sort of algorithm that this, this uh, the particular mathematician found to try to find them. Right. And, and this one... Um, and, and this one gets it's the smallest one that they could find, but there's no proof or even suggestion that this is the smallest, actually. Right. So I'd love to see the expansion to see where the Goliath appears. I mean, there's no, I can't put it into edit. It's too big. Yeah. It's too big. Yeah. Um, so obviously I tried, I think, oh, you know, this was written 10 years ago or something. I, I'm going to whack it into a computer apartment. No, no. No. I couldn't find one. Um, I mean, my computer just kept crashing. So, yeah, I mean, it's a challenge, I think. What is, what is the smallest one? It's not known. And this one exists, but it's huge. But, yeah. You know, so, so... Wow. These are the Goliaths. How much would you like to be the person to find the smallest Goliath? <laughs> w would that mean anything to you? Or would you think you're an idiot? Or would you, like, take some pride in it? So, so, when, I, <laughs> so when I was prepping for this video, I was like... Uh, I got a bit cocky and I thought, oh, I'm going to find this. And I'm like, totally, I'm going to totally find it. And then I would have, if I'd found it, I would have come swaggering in thinking, oh, look at me, like, you know. And I said, Brady, I found it. I expected you to be very impressed. I would have been. <laughs> and uh, no, I didn't find no. it. No. So, so sad, sadly. Um, yeah, so those are Goliath numbers. Wow. So a bit of a mystery there. So we're not stopping. We're not stopping. No. We're not we're stopping. Just, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. There are more of these kind of apocalyptic 666-y type numbers that, that uh, Pickover likes to play with. Another one is Legion's number. Okay, so Legion's, the, the Legion's of Demons, I think, or whatever it is. There's something like that. Legion sounds bad, right? It's like yeah. Legion's of, of Demons. Roman things. Legions. I don't think it's Roman Legion, but it probably comes from that. I think it's, the, I think it's this kind of Legion's of demonic entities that, are, you know. So the, what is the Legion number? Well, the Legion number has a symbol as well. I think it's kind of like this. And it's 666 to the 666, okay? Mm. Uh, you can write this number out. It's not particularly uh, complicated. Right. It's, this number's bigger than a Google. It's not particularly exciting, I don't think. I couldn't really find anything particularly exciting about it. But you can start to ramp it up a little bit. So there's another number which, which Pickover looks at. So this, he says this is Legion's number, but it's Legion's number of the first kind. And then he introduces Legion's number of the second kind, OK? So, so what is this? Well, this is kind of, you build it like this. So you have the second kind. So you have two of these guys, right? 
And this is 666 factorial to the 666 factorial. Okay. This is getting silly now. This is getting a bit silly. We haven't stopped yet, really. Okay, this is big. Yeah. Okay, this is bigger than, well, we'll see how big it is in a minute, because well, we want to think about how big it is. Because there's another number which is big mm. that they introduced, which is the Leviathan number. Again, sea monster, scary. Um, this has a symbol as well. It's got, I love these symbols. <laughs> its symbol is like a little horny thing. Right. <laughs> a little horny thing. That yeah. doesn't sound right. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. And this is this is uh, ten to the six 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 factorial. Okay. So the, these are both clearly big numbers, right? Which is bigger? Uh -huh. Ah, yes. Which one is bigger? Which thing? I, my instinct was that that was going to be bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 and it is. It is bigger. It is bigger. But, but you can ask how big it is. How would you figure out how big it is? Okay, well, one thing you can ask is how many digits do you think it's got? And the way you would do that is you, you take a, a logarithm with respect to base 10. Okay, because, you know, you think of something like, a, you know, 10 to the 2, right? It's, 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 a, it's you, know, you take the log, that's like 100. Okay, so that's you, you, by taking the logarithm, you get two, and, it, and that's one off the number of digits. It tells you the number of zeros. So, so taking a logarithm tells you, uh, gives you an estimate for the size of the number. So if you do the base 10 log of this guy. Okay. The, this is the, the phase two. Uh, the the, the legion. legion's number of the second kind. Second kind legion, yeah. 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 It's not too difficult to calculate. This, mm. is, this is, you use the sort of rules of logs to, to do it, and you can get, you get 666 factorial log 10 of 666 factorial. Your computer can handle that. That's not difficult at all. Approximately equal to 1.6 times 10 to the 1596. So that gives you a flavor for how many digits this has got, right? So it's of order this number of digits. So it's clearly a very big number. It's clearly bigger than a Googleplex. Okay, this is bigger than a Googleplex, which we'll come back to in a minute, actually. Okay. What about this guy? How big is this? Well, this one's harder to, to, to we want to take its log, right? But this one's, you can't, it's not as easy as this one. The calculation is harder. You have to use something called Stirling's approximation. So Stirling's approximation tells us how to calculate factorials for, uh, for, for big numbers. So if you've got n factorial and n is a big number, Stirling's approximation tells us that this goes like two pi n, n over e, to the end. Now this is this approximation is due to a guy called James Sterling, who's a mathematician from the, uh, you know, born in the 17th century, Scottish mathematician. Now at this point, Tony goes on a bit of a tangent about Sterling. I've chopped that out, but you can see the clip over on number file two. So basically, you, you know, you use this approximation, you approximate this number using this formula. This is approximately 6.6557. Five, six, I don't know, there's more digits, uh, times 10 to the 668 digits long. So it's somewhat smaller. It's a lot okay. smaller. It's still, this, this number of digits is still larger than Google. So this is this number, this Leviathan number. So this is the Leviathan. This is the Legion's number of second kind. They're both bigger than a Googleplex. Now, Brady, do you remember when we did about a Googleplex? One of the things we said was that in a, a universe that was a Googleplex meters across, then you would get doppelgangers. Yeah. So we can ask the question, what if you had a number, a, a universe that it was a Google Plex, uh, not a Googleplex, a Leviathan meters across, or a Legion to the second kind meters across, or Planck lengths across, whatever you know units you want. You know what does that kind of contain? Well, I reckon if the devil exists <laughs> and he's around the size of, of, of a human, then there will be more than one devil in such a universe. Mm. There would be multiple copies of it, mm, dear. just by the same rationale as we had for the um, the number of ways in which you can arrange that that sort of you know, devil-sized region of space, it has to, you have to have repetitions. Okay. So there we are. All right. Let's talk about super leviathans. Now, this is my own definition now, okay? Okay. Uh, so, so Pickover does have a definition for super leviathans, but I thought it was totally unsatisfactory, so I'm having my own one, okay? So, so definition of super leviathans. Well, Remember what the, Levi what the Leviathan was. It was 10 to the 666 factorial. That was the Leviathan, okay? The horny number. The horny number, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what's the super Leviathan? Well, instead of using a factorial, let's use a super factorial. So a super factorial is where you have, it's sometimes done with a dollar sign, and it's this basically, and 
it's m factorial to the m factorial, da 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 da, keep going with m factorials, and there should be n factorial of these guys. So it's m factorial to the m factorial to the m factorial to the m factorial, and there's m factorial in this tower. So you can imagine if you, if you did 10 to the 666 super, super, 666 super factorial, that's 10 to the 666 factorial to the 10 to the 666 factorial, da 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 da, loads of these bad boys. And in fact, there's 10 to the 666 factorial of them. So you've got Leviathan to the 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 Leviathan, and you've got a Leviathan of them. That's just crazy. Hmm. You might remember when we did um, double arrow notation in Graham's number. For those that know, you can write this in double arrow notation. It would just be n factorial double arrow n factorial. But anyway, um, but this is obviously another scale big. It's going to take you way beyond any numbers you could imagine in the universe, in the apocalypse, you know, way beyond Poincaré recurrences, everything. This is just silly big. But this is still going to be small compared to Graham's number. That's what everyone was asking. <laughs> that's, that's what I was, this is going to be tiny compared to it. It's nothing. So even this super Leviathan doesn't touch, doesn't touch Graham. Doesn't touch the sides. Doesn't touch the sides. Yeah. There's a third in this trilogy of apocalyptic videos. It deals with prime and Fibonacci numbers. Links are in all the usual places. The last digit you can actually get, the last, I think there's a list, the last 500 digits you can, because it turns out you take a big enough power of three, uh, the last digits you know, are very predictable. But uh, the first digit, I don't know. And, uh, it's your number. What do you want it to the first digit to be? Uh, well, in binary, it's one. <laughs> so uh, there you go. So we have a universe which is a Googleplex meters across. Then that's very big. And if you actually travelled far enough in that universe, you would start to see repetitions. You would start to see exact copies of yourself.